I, I will say this, and I have a feeling what I'm about to say, that Pastor Paul will not disagree with me. I cannot imagine an argument to support Christianity that would be weaker than the argument of what Christianity has done in the name of Jesus. There is no movement in the world that has slaughtered and murdered our people more than that church. There's no name that's dirtier and filthier than the German founder of the Protestant Reformation, Martin Luther, who declared that the Jewish synagogue should be burnt down. According to Paul Johnson, he's no Jew, Paul Johnson is a historian, he's a Christian, and he said that some almost 50% of the SS were Roman Catholics, 95% of the Germans in Nazi Germany were Christians. In fact, the Roman Catholic Church throughout, it, throughout the entire 12 years of the Third Reich, it only expelled, it only condemned, it only threw out one member and his name was Goebbels. Goebbels. Why would Goebbels, why would the church believe that Goebbels was unworthy to be a Christian, a Catholic? You know what he did? He married a Protestant. <laughs> I want to read to you the words of Luther. This is the words of Luther in 1543. He would go to where he belongs three years later. But your God judge judgment is right. Yes, so shall Jews, but no one else be punished. Who held your word in miracles and contempt and ridiculed, insulted and damned it for such a long time without interruption, they will not fall, like other humans, heathens and all others, into the sin of death, not up in hell, nor in the middle of hell, but in the pit of hell, as one who cannot fall deeper. If even they were punished in the most gruesome manner in their streets with their blood, that their dead would be counted not in the hundreds, not in the thousands, but in the millions. As it was of the Vespasian and Hadrian, still, I must insist, it be right, even if these 1500 years were a misery for another 1500 years, still God must be a liar and they all be corrupt, and they must be correct. In some, they are the devil's children damned to hell. The Jews got what they deserved. They have been called and elected to be God's mouth, as Jeremiah says, open your mouth wide and I'll fill it. They, however, kept tightly close to their muzzles, eyes, ears, nose, whole heart and all senses, so he polluted and squirted them, so full that it oozed from them in all places, and a devil's filth emerges from the Jews. Yes, that tastes good to them, into their hearts. They smack their lips like swine. That is how they want it. Call more, crucify him, crucify him. Scream more, may his blood be upon us and our children. Quoting Matthew, I mean it came and it found you. Perhaps one of the merciful saints among us Christians may think that I'm behaving a little too crude and disdainfully against the poor, miserable Jews and that I deal with them so sarcastically, insultingly. But good God, I am much too mild in insulting these devils. That's the words of the reformer, the great reformer. Christianity is asking important questions that must be answered from the Bible. I would posit to you that all Christians would concede that it's mo one of its most shameful elements is its history, is what its followers have done in the name of who they claim as their savior. It polluted their mind, it filled them with hate. And that's why today the Jewish people need to bring it all back. May 